hello you and i've never said that before in my life hello you and you <laughs> hey you hey you there uh, welcome back to the latest episode of The Laura and Becky Show, sponsored by Redbrook Estate Agents, Clubhouse at Meadowhall and Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa. Hello to all our little ferals out there. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. If you're new here, then you're more than welcome. You are indeed. Um, speaking of feral, we need to talk about something that you sent me from TikTok. Yes. Somebody, a celebrity who we think is in the feral gang. Yeah, I mean, uh, as soon as I watched this slash saw this I thought oh this is a bit of us and actually I love this woman anyway I'm just gonna see if I'm attached well I think she is one of us after seeing this yeah so this is what she had to say oh it's Jamie Lee Curtis oh sorry we haven't said who it (laughs) is Now, Heidi's going to be mad that I'm telling you this. There is a nominee's dinner, an Academy Award nominee's private dinner on Thursday night that starts at 7.30 and I have declined. Now, you might say, Jamie, you're nominated for an Academy Award. You're going to be in the room with only nominees for the Academy Award and I have declined. Why? Because mommy goes to bed early and I just because 7.30 is going to be 9 before we get food. And you know what? There's nothing good happening with me after 9 o'clock. Nothing. Zero. Absolutely. Uh, uh, nothing good happening with me after 9. No. Ever. Do you know what? I do exactly what Jamie Lee Curtis said. So, you know, she was like, the dinner. I love how she speaks about the, the dinner. I love her. The dinner's at 7.30, so it'll be 9 before we eat. If I'm going out, I do exactly that. I go, right, well, we're meeting at 7, then realistically, some people will be late, so it'll be half 7, and then yeah. by the time we've all got a drink, it'll be 8. I literally do that. But listen, we're talking about us going you know, to the Tickled Trout or something. She's talking about an Academy Award winner's dinner, and even that, she's like, nah. Nah. Oh. I the thing is, her. there is no better place in the world than bed. <laughs> There really isn't. You could be invited to the opening of the most amazing thing, but really, yeah. is there somewhere you'd rather be than bed? At the moment, I feel like um, a magnetic force to my bed, let's say. Yes. I walk past it and I'm like, oh, oh no, no, because I, I, it just calls me at any point of the day. I was just going to say that. It's not just at night. Oh. Bed, bed is not just for night. Uh, bed is, is also for the day. I mean, an afternoon in bed... Mate. or even a morning when you wake up early you might get a coffee go, go back, back to, to bed. bed maybe get up get your lunch then go back, back to, to bed, bed. <laughs> yeah i mean is there a time that there's it's inappropriate to go back to bed um, i think not Let, no. i can't think of one single no. time bloody love our beds <laughs> So we've got a voice note from Rich, who's a regular listener to the pod. Now, you know how yesterday we were talking about, I think it was yesterday, it was yeah. like longer ago, talking about doing um, COVID tests up your nose. And yeah, having do- a hairy nose. Yeah, just talking about noses in general. So Rich has got in touch. <laughs> I bought a nose chimmer this morning. I can't even believe that. The other one were knackered. And then you said the pod about hairy nostrils. Mate, this is spooky, man. Spooky. I love the fact that Rich is simply voice noted to tell us that he bought a nose trimmer. He felt it was the, of the utmost importance well, that he told us he bought a nose trimmer. I hate to say it, but I do think you, as a man, reach a certain age where you need to get yourself a nose trimmer. Yeah, do you know what? There's nothing worse than... It's, do you know what gets me about? I think we've spoken about this before. Hairy ear holes. <laughs> I was just going to say something and I actually stopped myself. What were you going to say? Oh, God. No, I can't. I don't think I can Is it very it. rude? No, no, it's actually not at all. It's oh, about hairy God. ears. I'm, um, I haven't got hairy ears. I thought you were no. going to say, you've got hairy ears. I thought you were about to be like, mate. <laughs> no. I've no, got no, really no. small ears, so. You have got tiny ears, Teeny, actually. tiny ears, yeah. They're not hairy. Um, no, I was with somebody a couple of weeks ago. Um, mouth. Who... Mouth it. I can't. No, you can I... mouth it to me. <laughs> you can't do it. Wait, wait. What did I'm, you just do? I'm, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Okay, right. Um, who had very hairy ears? Oh, I noticed. Yeah. No. And I thought, oh, he needs a uh, he needs a Hang trim on, on the just, old ears. Tell me, tell me. 
I didn't get that, <laughs> I didn't get that <laughs> I again. Tell you <laughs> okay, tell me after. Yeah, but I found that during the conversation, oh, I kept my eyes were drawn to the hairs that were coming out of their ears. Did they have any wax stuck to it? I no, I don't think so. I didn't look that close, but I just thought, oh, we could do with a trim. I mean, I know we, we've talked about hairy holes before. We're not going to go down this hairy hole, literally. <laughs> but I do think like little like hair sticking out of noses and yeah i mean be like rich buy a trimmer and just trim it that's what you need to do well my friend um dave and cam actually they both go and get get the wax don't they yeah so when they get a haircut they also get their nose hairs waxed yeah actually i was i was gonna say i was lucky enough that might be the wrong way to describe it um they let me i pulled out dave's nose hairs once with the earbud and the wax and it was very satisfying i've actually got a story about hair down there Mm. and have I ever told you that story when I was a holiday rep have I not I've got a great story to tell you I I literally cannot tell it on here though because it's oh you're not telling it on the pod now yeah it's um it's absolutely disgusting maybe one day maybe we'll do a a pod extra where you can listen because I've got a couple of stories that I daren't say on this podcast because maybe like the late night version yeah they're very very rude but they are hilarious well the Malteser story is my I know that classic one Mm. which actually talking about it we were talking about the fact I want to get that story on another podcast I want to get that story Featured on, on Shag Married Annoyed. Yeah, it's that part. I'm gonna I can mention another yeah. podcast. Um, I think they would love that story. So I I don't know whether to give them the story to see if they read it out, because that would be quite fun. So what would you email it to them? Yeah, you can email them with your stories. I, think you I know they'd be all over that story. I think you should email see it. See if we in. can get on another podcast, yeah, maybe. Let's do it. <laughs> Beer showers. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> so I this I heard this the other day. I must have been on bloody TikTok or something like that. And I suddenly stopped in my tracks and thought, why have I never done this before? You know, when you may be like on holiday or you're going to have a nice long shower before you go out, right? Why don't we ever take a little pale rosé in with us? Why don't you think? Oh I'm my gonna... god! Sorry, is that what it is? So you take a beer into the shower with you? I actually thought you had a shower oh. with beer. That's what I thought this was going to be about. <laughs> I swear. No, no. But what a nice idea! Like, you know, if you're like, right, I'm going to do all the things. I'm going to do all the shaving, and I've got some lovely shower gel. I'm going to have a nice long shower. Maybe even not even before you go out. Just you're going to have a nice before shower. Before you get into bed. Why don't you take in a nice little pale rosé? Pop it up on the soap shelf or wait and just have a little um mate i hate to break it to you but i do actually do this yeah i didn't realize this was what it was i thought it was something completely different i do have a little drink in the shower sometimes not before i'm going out though I and i'll tell you for why go on tell me <laughs> well the reason i do, i've got a nice little shelf that's in my shower that i can literally put a glass of rosé on or beer or whatever yeah um, i don't normally do it before going out because what i find is i'm such a lightweight these days if i hammered. drink before going out i'm doing my makeup and i'm hammered and right eyeliners up there lipsticks down there I look like the joker before going out right uh, it has and i promise you this it has never crossed my mind to have a drink in a shower but you have one in the bath, right? I'm all over it in the bath. I take a yeah. bottle with me. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> but I have never thought to myself, especially when you're on a holiday. Yes. Or when you're in a nice hotel. And you've got a lovely sh- bathroom. Yeah, a bigger shower than normal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, get a wine I, in there, mate. Get a wine in the shower. Yeah. Same with, so beer showers are the same. Like, apparently blokes do take beers into the shower. Do they? Is this a yeah, thing? I guess it must be. Is there a um, a special glass that you could maybe use to stop water getting... Or I suppose you step out of the shower to drink. <laughs> yeah, or maybe the shelf is just not in the watery bit. So it's you just like, like... Have a little... Yeah, you know, put your conditioner on. Yeah. A few little sips. Rinse it off. Yeah. The, do you know what? Because I thought this was going to be something totally different. I thought... Because um, I think it was Margot Robbie, wasn't it, who was yeah. talking about it. And she said... Um, I just saw beer showers. I thought, oh, Margot Robbie has a shower oh, with a secret beer. thing. Guess what I thought she did? And what I was going <laughs> to say was... Um, I mean, this kind of doesn't make sense, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Go on. You know when um, you or at a party or you see certain parties where people get champagne and yes, they spray, spray it. it. I don't get that, mate. What a waste of champagne. Have you seen the Grand Prix when they win yeah. those races? I mean, they, those bottles are worth thousands. What do they do? Just shh. Yeah, but also you're they so sticky. Piss me off. You are so sticky. Uh, so afterwards, you're just 
stood sticky. there in sticky, expensive champagne that yeah. you could have. Also, I don't understand why it. do they like I oh, christen this ship and smash a glass of champagne? I don't know why. You know that um, party cruise that I went on years and years yes. ago. Um, they had lots of parties there where it was like you know champagne spray parties, blah blah blah, and people went wild for it. Me and my friend avoided it at <laughs> all costs right all those as well all those corks popping off everywhere health hazard that could hit you in the eye take your eye out you two are a bundle of fun yeah wow (laughs) look at them two we we watched it sit on the upper deck and watch (laughs) that's what we did we sat in a glass upper deck and we watched the carnage but then we were like why do they why do people want champagne over them it's so sticky yeah that was us i used to do booze cruises right when i was a rep wild do you know what now That'd never happen. No. We used to take, if I think back, right, there used to be a, a, a boat called the Nostramo. Don't know if it still goes in Tenerife, might do. It's like a pirate ship. It looks like a pirate ship, yeah. right? We used to fill it with as many people as possible. As soon as they were on that boat, they got shots the lot. I mean, it was, it was, well, it was a booze cruise. So it was just booze everywhere. Then we'd sail to like, I don't know, around the island, get to the north, anchor the, the ship. We'd get cheap bottles of whatever, lob them in the sea... And people would dive down and collect them. <gasps> oh, their health and safety I on mean, that. Hey, you wouldn't get away with it these days, would you? We didn't even think about it. We were like, hey, ready? Lob a bottle. And they'd all jump in together, try and swim down to the bottom. We were like, oh. we didn't even count them back on the boat, <laughs> which, is, which actually we're going to talk about yes. in a bit, aren't we? I, I was so irresponsible. I was so, I, I apologise now to anyone that went yes. to like escapades holiday, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, because yeah. uh, uh, I, did, did you have to jump into the sea after a bottle of alcohol? Yeah. Was that you? Have you, you been affected? Yeah. <laughs> Do you need counselling? God, it's awful. Well, this leads on quite nicely, doesn't it, to our what's going on oh, today. Oh, God. So we actually read this yesterday and it filled both of us with absolute oh, fear. There's been a few stories like this over the years and I think a film's been made, hasn't it, about something, but this is like a really recent thing that happened. So a couple were on their honeymoon, I think it was in Hawaii or America. Anyway, they were all um, off this boat snorkelling. They got left behind. Oh, I so they poked their little faces up with their little snorkel masks on oh and the God. boat had gone. I got I can't I I I I, I would die there and then. I, I think I'd suffer a heart attack. I do, I could I been left in the middle of the ocean. Can, can you imagine? No. Well, yeah. So yeah. they had to swim. I think it was half <laughs> half a mile back to shore, but it wasn't the shore they were meant to be going back to and they had to write SOS in the sand. Oh to be God. rescued. I can't even. How horrendous. The only thing, it literally puts me about it. The only thing is, if they came kind of bobbed up and they're like, oh, where have they gone? But they could see ashore, then I would be, I, I'd be all right. I think it, no, I wouldn't be all right. <laughs> Who are we kidding? You wouldn't. But if I could <laughs> see land, I'd be You'd like, right, let's better. just, we just need, but I don't know what I'd, well, I'd get, if it was my husband's, I'd have to get on him. Get on his back. It, yeah. He'd go under. I'd ride him no. like a dolphin. <laughs> You know, like at SeaWorld where they go on an orca? Yeah. That'd be me. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> if he'd be drowning, yeah. but you'd be all right. I would. I mean, when we went on our... Oh, God, I hate it. I hate the sea. Laura's actually itching yeah. her neck. When we went on our, our um, honeymoon, we were in the Caribbean, right? It was all beautiful. And I'm like, oh, oh, there's a fish. Oh, oh, there's a fish. We went in. I would stand on him. Like a, like a heron on a rock. And he'd have to like walk in. I, honestly, I, oh I'd have God. to get on top of him yeah. and he'd have to paddle me in. He'd be my life raft. <laughs> Literally. He wouldn't survive it, would he? Are they, um, did you say they were suing them? So they're something? suing the company, yeah, because obviously they got left. There was this film, wasn't oh, there? I think about oh, six it. years ago oh, or so. It. Yeah, I mean, they were Died. left in the middle of the ocean. They died. There was no land around them, no shore, no it's land. Awful. Have you seen that film? Yes. The man goes first and there's a yeah. shark. Vroom, he's gone. Yeah. She's left on her own. What Awful. would you do? I think I'd drown, do? I'd drown myself. <laughs> I don't know if you, that's possible. I don't know what I'd do. I don't know what I'm I, 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 well, I would die of a heart attack. I, yeah, I, I, well, I would say just don't go on a snorkeling trip. More for you. All you lot that like, oh, snorkeling, it's so amazing. You get to see what's under the water. I tell you what's under the water, sharks. Yeah. <laughs> that are going to eat you 
up because you're not supposed to be in water. You're supposed to be on land. You know, when there's shark attacks, I'm like, oh my God, it just came out of nowhere. No, it didn't. Yeah, no, you, it didn't. You, you got into there. You weren't walking in a field and it just, I mean, if a shark attacked you then, yeah, it came out of nowhere. A shark in a field. But you know, if you're in the sea, I'm sorry. Then you're in their domain, aren't you? You're, you are, yeah, you're like, you're literally swimming around going, hiya, just, yeah. Come and eat me. Come and eat my big toe. We are not going to get sponsored by a snorkeling company, are we, on this podcast? I don't, want to. I don't believe in it. Thank you. I don't believe in it. I, I do not <gasps> believe in snorkeling. <laughs> I just think fish are weird. I don't get... Uh, I'll say it. I don't get how they breathe underwater. I don't get it. Mate, I don't get it. I also oh, don't understand how God. when you're born, you're in a sack of water, and then you come out and you breathe. Yes. Have you ever seen the film The Abyss? <laughs> no. So have you never seen it? No, who's in it? Oh, God, I can't remember their names now. But no, so. they go down as aliens in the sea. Mm. But to go down even further, they have to breathe this liquid. And I remember she puts this helmet on this diver and she's like, he's like, because <laughs> he can't. She's like, just breathe it in. You'll remember as a baby you used to do it. Your body will remember. And then he starts breathing this liquid. Oh, how but how weird is that? How do fish? I don't yeah. understand how it works. Like, don't ask me. And, the, and no whales idea. have to can swim underwater. They go up. And they go, snorting out. <laughs> and then go, yeah. what a life. I, I don't understand it either. It's above our remit, anyway, I think. Don't get it? me aside on yeah, fish. No. Right. Um, so this morning, <laughs> we, we've been in the car for a long time this morning. Uh, we had a meeting and uh, long, boring story. Basically got lost on the way back. So Laura was literally like, I feel like I've been driving for <laughs> hours. Um, but when we first met, we went in your car, didn't we? Because you were driving. Yeah. I said to Laura, I've got a little something for you. Yeah. I was like, close your eyes, hold out your hands. Yeah. And that just goes to show how much I trusted you. Because usually when someone says, uh, close your eyes, hold out your hands, you're like, nah, nah. What you gonna... I was like, straight out, cup. You ready. were, actually. Give me, give, yeah. me, give me the present. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me. Yeah. You probably thought it was something very exciting. Yeah. Actually, no, it actually was. Yeah, it is. Like, I can't oh, wait. It's exciting. Um, so, <laughs> oh, God. So <laughs> I gave Laura said things. She had a feel. She didn't guess what it was. And then I told you what it was. But this thing doesn't look like what it is. Well, no. Well, it looks like something else. It does. It basically looked like I gave Laura a massive bag of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it Massive like. bag. Massive. Got to be worth a lot, that, I reckon. <laughs> um, in fact, I took a picture. So then Laura obviously saw this thing. And we will tell you what it is in a minute. And then we were driving. So you put this bag of what looked like cocaine <laughs> in the front of your car. We were driving along and I looked and I thought, imagine if we got pulled oh. over by the police now for something. And they'd be like, what's this thing, ladies? <laughs> yeah. And they would be like, no, you've yeah. got drugs. Out, you'd be out of the car with your hands up yeah. before we knew it. <laughs> I would. You would. I would. You'd be like, oh, it's okay, officer. Listen, it's collagen powder, isn't it? Yes. That's what it is. Um, but it, yeah, it did look like we were transporting drugs somewhere. I started to believe we were transporting yeah. drugs because it looked like it. Yeah. So at home, I've got a massive tub of um, collagen powder, which I shove in coffee and, well, pretty much everything, basically. Mm. Um, but it goes out of date, end of this month, and I've got a massive tub of it. So I was like, oh, mate, I'll give you some of my yeah. collagen powder. This is what we get excited about these days. Yeah. So I brought you some in a see-through bag today. So that's yeah. why it looked like a crack cocaine. Co <laughs> crack crack cocaine. cocaine. Um, can I do anything with it? Can I snort it? Would, would it work better? I mean, I'm not I saying, think. please don't snort it. Yeah. <laughs> please don't do that. I mean, Can I rub it all that. over my face? Anywhere. Anywhere. Can you put it in orifices and it just dissolves? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm making a lasagna this evening. <gasps> I'm having, doing a dinner. And I no, might you're even, not. I might even put it in the uh, lasagna. Are you serious? Maybe. Can you do that? Yeah, put it in anything. Right. Yeah, I put it in my coffee in the morning. But do you have to disclose to the people that you're feeding the lasagna to that you've got collagen in it? Um, Probably. They're family, so I think they'll yeah. be all right with me. Oh, and also, God. they could probably do with a bit of collagen. Oh. So they'll, they'll be thanking me later. They'll wake that's, up tomorrow and be like, oh, my skin feels amazing. That's what was quite, in lasagna? That's a good idea to put it in, in like, a lasagna. Yeah. I just think you can't get enough of it, right? Can you overdose Can you? Collagen? I mean, we're giving out yeah. advice here. <laughs> Listen. This is not a medical podcast. just rewind here. Okay, don't A, snort it. B, maybe check maybe check oh god <laughs> check the limits oh dear i thought we we're in trouble now anyway give the collagen a go and let me know what you think read the labels first guys <laughs> back tomorrow <laughs>